Hey, Coach Chris Commentary. My topic, Youth Coach Band. I know a lot of y'all have watched the news and YouTube and Twitter and all that and heard about the youth coach that hit the nine-year-old kid twice in the head like he was a grown man. Uh, when I saw the video, you know, you know, thinking about I've been coaching for 16 years, never in my 16 years have any kind of debt violence crossed my mind on a football player that trusted in me to play for me trusted me, his parents trust me to coach him and I'm going to turn around and, and put my hands on somebody else's kid wow, so when I saw the video I was disgusted man, like hey man it is it is messing up it is messing up youth football you know, you're going to have parents see videos like that they're not going to trust coaches with their kids anymore because of some idiot coach want to take his anger out on kids. You know what I'm saying? The game is good, but the game is not that serious that you got to put your hand on another kid, a grown man swinging at a nine-year-old. Wow, that make you a man. That make you this big-time coach. You just... Yes, you're the big-time coach. To me, you're a big-time coward. That's what you are to me because that could not be my kid. I can hear y'all now talking about Coach Chris locked up for uh, assault. Yes. I'm one of the nicest guys you want to meet. But I cannot sit back and see you do that to a kid. Not one of my kids. And, you know... You know, I, 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 and, and the part that got me in the video was after he hit the boy two times, the other two coaches that came in the huddle act like nothing didn't even happen. They didn't even try to like pull him, pull him to the sides. Hey, man, what are you doing? You're blowing it. You're messing up. They didn't do nothing. So I don't know who their names are. Well, I can't mention names anyway, but you just as guilty as a man that hit the nail twice because you sat there and did nothing. You did nothing. You walked on the field, football game going on, and you're more worried about the game than what this man just did to this little boy. Now this little boy is probably scarred. He's probably scarred for life, knowing that a coach that I trusted hit me Twice in front of my football fan, in front of the fans, in front of my, my mom that was in the stands. <sighs> like I said, stuff like that, it messes up the game. Um, you know, you know, that shows that you just took the kids out and put yourself in. You made it about yourself. But in reality, it's all about the kids. I can't say that, you know, I said so many times, you know, you know, you got a lot of coaches that coach. But when we say it's all about the kids, some of them is living their dream through their kid. To me, this. It's so sad to see a coach do that. You know, you couldn't make it as a football player, but now you want to push your son to be something you couldn't. Now you got coaches that feel like it's all right to put their hands on another parent's kid. Wow, man. Oh, man, that, that, I, I just got so frustrated watching that video. And like I said, the coach was banned. Uh, he's no no longer able to coach anymore. And, you know, 
looking at, like I said, my 16 years, I seen an incident like this in 2005. It was a coach when I first got started in the rec league. It was a coach and his son was playing for his team and it was a championship game. And his son was getting, his son was getting, uh, man, he was getting tore up in that game. Uh, that was, that was knocking him down, knocking him all around. And he just got to a point where he didn't want to play anymore. So he, he was taking himself out of the game. And the coach told him, get back on the field. And the player said, no, coach, dad, I don't want to play anymore. I'm done. I don't want to play anymore. So the coach grabbed the player by the helmet and threw him back on the field. I was like, what in the world? And, you know, you got a crowd out there watching everything that's going on. And we're on the sideline looking at him like, this man have lost his mind. The kid on the on the the kid is on the um he's on the ground crying. He's 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 you know some of the players went and took him off the field, and um, I just could not you know let that go. Like man, what is your you know the game is not that serious. Why would you do that to your kid? He looked at me with this look on his face like that's my kid. I do him the way I want to do him. So in that incident, after all that smoke cleared and people saw what happened, he got banned. He couldn't coach no more. But now, the guy that did it in Florida and the guy we're just talking about, them are the two that got caught. What about the ones that are still doing it that haven't been caught yet? Something to think about. Coach Chris Commentary. I'm out.